Classic car electrification has become incredibly popular in recent years. We've seen Ferrari Testarossas, Jaguar E-types, we've seen Porsche 356s and the DeLorean DMC-12. But today I'm here at Bister Heritage to drive Electrogenic's most recent project, the Mazda Mark I MX-5. Behind these iconic floppy headlights, you would often find a 116 brake horsepower 1.6 litre naturally aspirated engine or a 130 brake horsepower 1.8 litre engine. But today we have a 120 kilowatt electric motor that's paired to a 42 kilowatt hour battery. Now, realistically, that means 150 miles of range, but you're going to be taking this car out at the weekend and you're going to be enjoying it. So you're not really going to be go going too far with it. What that means is a sub six second not to 62 time. Now that's on par with a new MX-5, quite off the old one. Electrogenics have done a mighty fine job at keeping the weight distribution in this car not to affect the way that it drives. Because when you buy an MX-5, obviously you buy it for the way it drives. We have where the old fuel tank used to be, we actually have a battery to help with this. And under the fuel cap is where we have our CCS charging. Open the centre console here and you will find cassette tubes and also the fuel cap release. However, in this car, it's the charging release. Underneath this bonnet, it all looks rather cramped. There's a lot of wires, there's a lot of cables, there's buzzing and humming going on. Um, it's got a jap speed radiator to help cool the batteries and cool the motors, etc. under here. One interesting thing that it does actually have, and this was a request of the client, is air conditioning. It's got air conditioning and that's super, super cool. Things are still very MX-5 in here. You've got what looks like a five-speed manual, but this is actually an automatic. Um, you also have things like your handbrake. You also have the seats, that everything's original. The only thing is it's been modernised. So in here we have a speed limiter that was requested by the client. We also have some driving modes. So there's a sport mode, an economy mode, and a normal mode. Again, when it comes to the, the gauge cluster, there's no digitalization here, there's no big LCD screens or touchpads or anything that you need to really sort of muck about with. Instead what you actually have is an original MX-5 cluster. We've got empty and full for our fuel gauge, which clearly means your battery's empty or full. And interestingly, the RPM is stuck at 4,000. Now that doesn't mean there's something wrong with the car, it's actually just a natural position for this car. So anything sort of south of 4,000, so between one and four, is the regen. So that tells you if the car's regenerating. Anything above it is the power you're using. Enough chatting, it's time to go for a drive. I've never driven a Mark I Mazda MX-5 before, so to drive an electrified version first, um, oh, it's magnificent. What a, what a machine they've built here. It's absolutely incredible. The way it handles is just so pinpoint accurate. And it's got plenty of shove, and that's not even the sportiest setting either. So I'm in normal right now, I'll knock it into eco mode. So in eco mode, you get coasting, the, the car coasts, um, there's no regen here, um, so you can chuck it about a bit more. Um, you don't get as much power as what you would get in the ice car, um, but you still get heaps of torque. So, you know, you're not going to be lacking for anything. So toe down in eco mode, you get that gradual, naturally aspirated feeling build up. So we'll turn it into sport mode now. Now this is the sort of maximum power total if you're wanting to be zealous with it. Um, and it's got, it's got plenty of kick. But this is a customer car and I'm going to be very gentle with it. However, I've been out in this car with one of the boffins from Electrogenic and I can tell you that this definitely has kick. And boy does that handle because of that weight distribution. It's magnificent. Yee! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's great fun! Ooh. 
And still, they've managed to keep one of the things that I absolutely adore about this car, and it's the pop-up headlights. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So I haven't driven a Mark 1 Mazda MX-5 before, but I've been a passenger plenty of time in these cars, and yes, they are absolutely capable, even in the little 1.6 form. But this thing's on another league. And in comparison to more modern MX-5s, I've driven the, the RF, um, latest Mazda MX-5. And I'll tell you something, this feels a lot quicker. Oh, it's so good to drive, honestly. Woo! <laughs> I think it's absolutely magnificent that Electrogenics has, has done this and the fact they've actually maintained the weight distribution and kept this car as original as possible on the outside and the inside, but with more power, is just brilliant. Good job Electrogenic, thanks for watching. <laughs>